Hey girls, welcome back to my channel for another video this week. If you're new to my channel, I am Jerenika Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because it helps your girl out. Press that subscribe button and go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram at Jerenika Mycia because I mean like why not first of all i just have to say thank you guys so much for all the love the support the comments that you guys have been like reaching out and giving me like y'all i am like i'm here for it and i'm like thank you thank you darling thank you but no for real i've been getting so many comments about black women with luxury that's like a topic right now and okay here lay down girl that's like a topic and I just want to say to all my black women out there, you are luxurious sis. You deserve luxury because you are luxurious as you deserve the luxurious house, the trips, the cars, the bags, the shoes. You like you're luxurious. You're so luxurious like you're just luxurious just by breathing. Like I am tired of people acting like black women do not deserve luxury items and we're not luxurious because girl, what? Who said that? In Portia voice, who said that? We are luxurious. So I just want to tell all my beautiful queens out there, you are luxurious and you deserve luxury items too. So if you're on my channel, I hope you get so inspired to like live your best luxurious life. I don't care where you work, what you do, what you drive. Girl, you luxurious. Okay? Okay. And if you get a little backlash from people around you, talk about some, why are you spending your money like that? Like, let me tell you, from your good sis G, this is how you read them girls down. Anybody who's trying to tell you how to spend your money, girl, you luxurious, you deserve, especially if you go to work for your money, get what you want to get. But if I was you, I would tell them I'd just be like real cute, real settled, like don't don't get like riled up because at that point the read is just not going to go right. Just tell them, I mean, you decide to go out every Friday through Sunday going to the club drinking Hennessy out of cheap cups and standing on these people's couch with your shoes on drinking cheap liquor and smoking hookah but i don't tell you how to spend your money so don't tell me how to spend mine okay first of all excuse my shirt she's cute on camera but she's not like working with my mic because girl it sounds like i'm wearing a trash bag like all this movement is not cute hopefully we can like block that out but with this video i'm so excited as you can tell by the title this video is going to be on the vintage chanel caviar vanity now, vanity cases are so popular right now, and I know I've been wanting a vanity. I tried the MCM Rockstar vanity. It's cute, but it's not Chanel. I tried the Louis Vuitton Nice and Mini. It's cute, but it's a little too trendy, and I didn't like the zipper. The zipper on that bag, for the price, the zipper was not like, it didn't zip and unzip like seamlessly for that price the the zipper to me was just made very cheaply and it's not chanel so yes first of all girl i have been looking at the chanel vanity for years but with vintage bags you have to be so patient and good things come to those that are patient you have to be patient because you want a bag for a good price, but mostly you want a bag in great condition. Of course, it's not going to be excellent because it's vintage. It's like pre-loved pre and so many people may have owned the bag. So you always want to be very patient. Don't just jump to buy the first bag you see because, I mean, you may come across something better. So with myself, I've waited maybe like five years. No, I'm, I'm guessing maybe three maybe three years for this bag and i came across it so one of my my um friends she saw the bag it was a purchase from a private seller someone she know and i got the bag for oh my god i'm sorry guys this hair right here hold up sister girl lay down so i got the bag for seven hundred dollars which is like y'all i be, the the bad gods be on my side darling like <laughs> darling they be on my side girl seven hundred dollars and this bag is nasty so let me show you girls the bag okay so this is the bag y'all look how gorgeous this bag is now when i first got this bag it wasn't as like 
see how shiny and beautiful it is right now it wasn't that beautiful it was very like it looked very vintage so what i did was i used my coach leather moisturizer on all of my leather bags to kind of like revamp them and give them like this really beautiful moisturized look that i have going on right here so first of all as you guys can see this bag is in a great condition like when I saw it, I was just like, what is going on? They have a dent here, which is I'm okay with. Once you stuff the bag with like air paper, it will be totally fine. Um, the hardware has slight tarnishing, which I'm okay with. I love the fact that the zipper was still in um, great condition because with the zippers, all the bags I've been seeing, the zippers are like refurbished or I didn't want a bag that was refurbished because once you get to the point where the bag is, let me zoom in, refurbished, I feel like it's not full vintage. So I wanted to keep it vintage and this zipper is perfectly fine and it zips seamlessly all the way around, which the nice bag didn't. Even the bottom, they have like slight wear at the corners. But girl, look at that. This bag is just gorgeous. I love the top handle. So with the top handle, what I'm gonna end up doing is adding a strap. You can basically buy a strap and double up the strap so you can wear a crossbody. I'm gonna just see if I like it. I mean, if I don't like it, it's not gonna kill nobody. But y'all, this bag is gorgeous. Only problem I have with this bag, the vintage smell. The inside of this bag, it smells very vintage and I hate vintage smells so what i did was i purchased those i don't know the name of them it's like these little packets or bing packets from um i want to say home depot or lowe's one of them i got it from and you just throw it in and the smell is literally it's gone now and i kept it in the bag for about two days it's gone now once you open the bag the inside of the bag is just as fabulous as the outside first of all even hold on the Chanel stamp is still in like great condition. Look at this. Usually the Chanel is like worn off. It did come with the uh, uh, the uh, authentic. I can't say the word. It did come with the authentic. Oh, honey, that's one of the words I just can't say. Even the word residency, I can't say that word either. But it came with the card, and only thing that they say was wrong with the bag. The serial number is slightly um faded but you can still see the serial number so with this bag it comes first of all hold on look at this guys hold on i have to show you guys it comes with a pouch maybe i want to go say a pouch it's like a pocket just a pocket here i'm probably not going to use the pocket if i do it will be like for lipstick or something but i want you guys to hold on i have to open it so you guys can see how gorgeous the inside of this bag is look at that it's like whoever had this bag, they did not use it. And the seller I got it from, she actually purchased the Chanel bag that they um, just released. Because Chanel just released another vanity, I believe the 2020 vanity. Um, When it comes to Chanel, I just rather vintage. I'm starting to realize I like vintage over all of the stuff that they're putting out right now. So anything I've been buying, I've been looking at like past seasons because those items are just like classic and they're just so good that's when i feel like the uh, fashion houses was actually putting in thought into their products not just like okay let's get something out because we just need to sell we need to be the hottest thing on the market right now back then the girls was like really putting in thought into it but now it's just so trendy like y'all know how i feel about trendy i don't like it but guys that bag is gorgeous. I don't think I'll ever wear it clothes. I mean, depends on the situation I'm in. I just love the look with the tassel in the front. It's so, so cute. I was thinking about getting a handle wrap, but for right now, I just want to keep it with a classic vintage look. She's just, she's so amazing. This is definitely a bag that I'm going to like one day pass down to my daughter. The worst thing that could possibly ever happen to me is I get a daughter and she's just like not into none of this stuff. And she's like, girl... You waste your time because I don't want none of this. That will break my heart. But guys, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna actually link, I found one bag like this. Oh, sorry guys. I found a bag um, on Fashion File. 
and I'm going to link it down below. It's $9.50, but even for a vintage bag, and the condition is really good. This bag did not come with a um, dust bag. However, the same seller, she had an extra dust bag, so she's sending over a dust bag, which might take a while because she lives in France. But I don't mind waiting for it because I love a good dust bag because, as y'all seen in my wardrobe revamp all of my bags are in dust bags because your girl don't have no space even for this i'm going to just most likely sit this bag on top of my hermes boxes because i don't have room but guys if you were thinking about getting this bag don't think no more girl she's gorgeous and also check out the coach leather moisturizer if you feel like your bag is like looking kind of dull this bag, when I first um got it out the pack, it was just not giving me life. So I had to give her life. But y'all, I'm obsessed with this bag. I cannot wait to style it. I have a video. My next video, I'm going to use this bag to style. Oh, I said that wrong. Okay, the next video, I'm doing a unboxing with something that is very, very, very soji. Like, extremely me and i'm going to use this bag and style it with it but i cannot wait to start wearing this bag but with vin my any of my vintage bags i try not to like wear them too much because what well, any of my bags i try not to like wear them out because i don't want this bag or any of my bags to lose their shape so i think it's very good to have a uh, good rotation like you want a couple bags in your collection or even if you can't afford all designer bags i love getting bags from zara because the quality of the bags are amazing and i don't have to constantly keep wearing my um designer bags so yes girl <laughs> darling coco darling coco i love it um if you guys have any questions about the bag oh the height on this bag is seven inches the length i want to say was six inches and it's five inches in diameter amazing amazing bag uh i want to say the handle here is about two inches but even you can't put it on your forearm but it's okay because it's really really cute and it fits a lot like I could fit my phone in here my card holder oh my god I hope you guys cannot hear that somebody's ringing my doorbell um and I still have a lot of room and I have the what phone do I have I think the iPhone 10 and it fits this bag can fit a lot of stuff like oh and another thing that I thought was so cool with this bag. it I know with vintage bags, like I said, they're not gonna be perfect because somebody else had the bag. This bag, I wanna say was in production like early 2000s. I want to, I'm not sure. I tried to find it. I could not find when it came in production. I did find when somebody said it was in production 2002. So I wanna say like way early 2000s. To say that this bag is that old, y'all the scratches on this bag is literally no scratches so i feel like that's another thing anytime you're doing chanel caviar leather is the best because it's like if it gets scratched it's no big deal i try to stay away from lambskin because when i worked at Saks and i used to sell chanel bags the lambskin even when we had them in our stock lambskin bags are just so hard to keep from scratching those bags were like horrible. I had so many clients, they're like, buy a lambskin, talking about some, oh, it's so classic. Then two weeks later, this girl trying to return a bag to get a caviar bag. So I, with Chanel, I think I would stick with caviar. I don't think, especially if I want to use it every day, I wouldn't do lambskin. But now Chanel have so much that you could pick from. But if you're talking like classic, I think you should definitely stick with um, caviar. And even gold hardware. Even though this bag have light tarnishing, I was just so amazed that the hardware is still like really, really pretty because all the bags I've been seeing, they've just been like super trash. And when I went to New York, I went to the real world in Soho. I saw a bag like this, but girl, it looked like somebody rolled over her with a bus. Like, I don't know who had her, but they used her to the ground. <laughs> so your girl got lucky and yes this is my baby and i cannot wait to show you guys how i'm going to style her so if you guys have any questions i know in my last video i um y'all it was my first try on and i forgot to like name like 
really tell you guys in detail about the size and this stuff because I was like, girl, maybe I'm just talking too much. But you guys had so many questions. So I appreciate all of like your critique and your questions. So your girl is definitely going to, in my next video when I'm trying something out, I'm going to give you girls the size and all that good stuff. But even with this video, if you have any questions, feel free to like comment down below, DM me, whatever you want to do. And yes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, girls.